Hello and welcome to DTWG the Prep. Welcome. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be going through the quadratic formula. Okay, so we have it here. So we're going to be solving uh, these six questions using the quadratic formula manually. Then after this video, I would also use maybe like four questions here using the GED calculator. Okay, so I'm going to teach you those two methods. All right, because uh, if you have these questions in the GED, it's always best, you know, you can quickly use your GED calculator. Okay, but if you are not comfortable with using the GED calculator, then you can solve it manually. Okay, so we're going to go through all these questions, solving it manually. Okay, and um, if this is your first time on this channel, please, please do try to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Help us to grow and give this video a thumbs up. And also, you can share this video with your friends, family, loved ones on your groups, uh, group study preparing for the GED test. You can also check our website for summary notes, study guides, free practice questions, your GED math formula sheets, all in, on dtwgdprep.com. Just go there, you see all resources available for you for the GED. Free study notes on your RLA, your social studies and also your sciences okay and um you can join our facebook group we're over twenty-three thousand members now please do try to join it's going to you know support you if you have questions about the ged in whichever state you are in the us be it arizona california new york new jersey um just ask your questions about ged online you know things anything you need motivation resources you can always ask on the group and you will always get feedback from someone, okay, who has passed through that particular challenge, all right? So, and if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can also contact me. I will leave my email address. All the links would be in the video description box of this video, okay? You can join our Facebook group. We also have a Reddit group. You can also join too, all right? So, now getting on to solving these questions, you have this x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to zero all right i have i think i've treated quadratic equations all right and uh and uh quadratic equations of this form and of this form that's factoring you know using the factor method but sometimes the gd asks you to use the quadratic formula method all right and you don't don't be scared you don't need to cram this formula because you provide provided with, with a math formula sheet during your test okay if it's um you know it's not a physical test a physical test you'll be given a printout uh an online test it will be um on the bar you will click somewhere and you know go through your formula sheet and try to you know copy down this formula okay so you would always get this formula you can download the formula sheets on the website all right so you would always get this formula you don't need to cram it all right you don't need to bother you bug your head about it it will be given to you freely all right and so for our first question it says x square minus 5x plus 4 equal to 0 so you can see it is likened to this where this a is the coefficient of what x square so what is a here a here is 1 all right, when you don't see a number, there's an invisible one. So A is equal to one here, a positive one. Now B, B is likened to this. So B is your negative five. So B is equal to negative five. And whereas your C, which is this uh, constant here, a number without any variable is a positive four. Okay, so when you have this, your A, B, and C, always write this down before you get onto the formula okay so when you have this now you can put it into the formula so this will be x equal to what is our b our b is a negative five because but you can see in our formula there's already a negative here so first of all put the negative then in parentheses your b which is a negative five all right please don't forget this you know, and most questions they always make b negative because you know students would forget to put this negative in here and just you know just take only this negative and you will get the answer wrong and that wrong answer would be in your answer options okay so please please don't forget i always also when i also tutor students i see this particular mistake so you know examiners know that 
students would have there are some particular mistakes they would make okay errors that are frequently made by students and you would always see that answer that wrong error answer in your answer option so please do make sure after the negative sign if b is a negative put it into parentheses okay just like we did here so now parentheses plus minus you know uh quadratic uh equations always have two answers for x into square root b square b square that's a negative five square minus four what is a a is one and what is c c is four all square roots divided by two multiplied by a a is one okay so from here now what do we do we multiply negative times negative that will give us a positive right the positive five plus or minus in square root uh negative five squared that's negative five times negative five that will give us a positive 25 so we have 25 minus four times one is four and four times four is 16 that's four times one four four times four 16 so 16 divided by two times one is two so from here, what do we have? We have positive 5 plus or minus 25 minus 16 is 9 divided by 2. And what would this give us? Uh, this will give us positive 5 plus or minus the square root of 9 is 3. I have treated square roots. So if you don't understand square roots, please do watch that video. Okay. I have treated square roots and cube roots divided by 2. So we can see this. We have positive 5 plus or minus 3. So it's now finally our two answers will be our positive five plus take the plus first plus three divided by two and positive five that's x will be equal to this and positive five take the minus as a second second sign minus three over two. So what would this give us? This will give us uh, eight over two right that's positive five plus three that's eight divided by two that will give us four that's eight divided by two is four and positive five minus three will give us a positive two so we have uh, a positive two divided by two and that will give us a positive one so our two answers for x is four and one and it's always arranged bring one first and four last the, the smaller number first that's the way to be arranged in your answer options okay but our answer is four and one or one and four so that's the answer for one so this is how you apply the quadratic formula all right let's go to um, the second question the second question we have x squared minus four x minus five equal to zero so a here is one b here is negative four and c here is what negative five do you see that a b and c c is negative five b is negative four so let's put into our formula so we have x equal to negative in parentheses negative four don't forget plus or minus all square root b square is negative four square minus four in parentheses a is one c is negative 5 over 2 a is 1 okay so let's multiply this this time this will give us a positive 4 so we can just leave 4 like that you don't need to write the positive plus 1 uh, plus on minus in parentheses in square root i mean negative 4 square is 16 okay and uh, we have minus 4 times 1 is 4 right and four times minus five is minus 20 okay over this times this is two so what would this give us this will, this will give us four plus or minus if you open this parenthesis negative times negative multiply becomes positive then you have 16 plus 20 that would give us what 36 over two and what is the square root of 36 we have 4 plus or minus. The square root of 36 is 6 over 2. So from here, we now break down. x is equal to 4 plus 6 over 2. And 
4 minus 6 over 2. So 4 plus 6, that's uh, 10 over 2, which will give us 5. And this is uh, 4 minus 6. That's a negative 2, right, over 2. And this will cancel out as a negative 1. So our answer is a 5 and a negative 1. Okay, so that's our answer for question two using the quadratic formula. Okay, and okay, okay, I was supposed to call on your call your um, attention to this I wrote here. All right, so when you see that this inner inner uh, value here, b square minus four ac, is called a discriminant. Okay, in maths. When it is greater than zero, you have two real solutions. What does two real solutions mean? That means you have two answers, two real solutions, okay? So if every value here is greater than zero, you can see here, when we simplified all this, it gave us 36, it's greater than zero. We had two real solutions. You see, don't worry, when we get to the ones that uh, have one real solution or no real solution, you would see what I mean, all right? So let's clear this. Let's go to number three. Number three says 3x squared minus 13x equal to, z, equal to 10. You can see this is not liking to this expression. So we must make it the same. All right. This expression, we must simplify it to make it exactly like this with zero here. So we have to take 10 here. So we to do 3x squared minus 13x when 10 comes here, it becomes a negative because it's a positive here. So it becomes a negative. So we have a negative 10 equal to 0. Now it is liking as this. So our A here is 3. Then our B is negative 13. And our C is negative 10. Okay? So now we can now put in these values into our quadratic formula. So we now have X equal to B. Okay, that's a negative in parentheses. B is a negative 13. Then plus or minus square root of B square, which is negative 13 square, minus 4 in parentheses. A is 3. And what is C? C is what? Negative 10. Divided by 2. What is A? A is 3. Okay, so from here, this times this is a positive. So positive 13, okay? plus or minus, I don't need to put the positive here, okay, but if you want to, it's fine, all right, so here we have plus or minus in square root 13, negative 13 squared, that's negative 13 times negative 13, it will give us a positive 169 minus 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times negative 10 is a negative 120, okay, over 2 times 3 is 6, okay, equal to, so here we have 13 plus or minus uh, negative times this negative to open up the bracket, we have a positive. And what is 169 plus 120? That would give us all in square root 289, okay, over 16. So, and what is the square root of 289? That would give us what? 17. So we have 13 plus or minus square root of 289 is 17 over 6. So from here, x will be, this is 13, 13 plus 17 over 6 and 13 minus 17 over 6. And what is 13 plus 17? That would give us 30. 30 divided by 6 would give us a 5. And what is 13 minus 17? That would give us a 4, right? 4, 4 over 6. Uh, 2 here would go 2 times. 2 here would go 3 times. So we have 2 over 3. Negative, sorry. This is positive 13, negative 17 would give us a negative 4. So our answer would be a negative 2 over 3. Okay, so these are two solutions for question three. Now let's go to question four. Question four says solve this. We have five x squared minus two equal to negative x, negative eight x. So we have to arrange it to be similar to this expression. So it means minus eight x should come here. 
right? Because we have our B, you know, our B, the coefficient of x raised to the power 1 is here. So bring minus 8x here. So it becomes x squared minus will become positive 8x. Then put this, you know, this has to be last. This negative 2 will be here. Negative 2 equal to 0. So we have arranged it according to this expression. So from here, A is 5, B is positive 8, and C is what? A negative 2. Okay? So we put into our expression, so we have a negative 8, okay, because 8 is positive, so it will be negative 8 plus or minus, that's x equal to this, square root, B square, that's 8 square minus 4 in parentheses, A is 5, C is what? Negative 2 over 2, A is what? 5. All right, so from here we have negative 8 plus or minus in parentheses, 8 square is 64 minus 4 times 5, that is 20, 20 times 2, that will give us 40. So we have negative 40, right? Over 2 times 5 is 10. All right, so from here we have negative 8 plus or minus what would this be? 64 minus minus 40. As minus times minus will be positive. So we add 64 plus 40. That will give us 104 divided by 10. You can see this is not a perfect square. All right. So if you punch in your, your GED calculator, I have also um, done a video on how to you know calculate your square roots using your GED calculator. Okay. At this point, you can use your GED calculator. All right. And also, uh, okay, should we use the GD calculator? Mm, we can. We can also use irrational, irrational, uh, you know, numbers to also solve this. We can also use that too. Okay, where we would do? Should we do this? Uh, how do we break this down? If we do, uh. Okay, let me not confuse you yet, but let me, let's do the first step first. Okay, so this will be, if you punch in your calculator, a negative, uh, negative 8 is the square root of uh, 104 would give us a 10.19, uh, let's just say 10.19, okay, divided by 10, all right? Or if we approximate, we can just do a 10.2. Let's just approximate, have a 10.2. Okay, so from here, our x will be negative 8 plus 10.2 divided by 10 and a negative 8 minus 10.2 divided by 10. So from here, this would give us, um, we're going to subtract to and it will be positive because 10.2 is bigger. So we're going to have a 2.2 over 10 here. And here we're going to have, we're going to add, so, and the sign will be uh, a negative. So 18.2 over 10. When we divide this, we're going to have a 0.22. And when we divide this, you know, you just shift your decimal place, one place. So, and we're going to have a negative 1.82. So this, ah, this would be our two answers for x. O point positive 0.22 and a negative 1.25. Okay, so I was trying to see how we can use rational. Rational, how do we break this down? Um, a four times what? If we do four, is it going to go through? Remember two, right? Two, that's a two and a six okay so if if for instance maybe your answer doesn't come in this decimal pattern okay so you can have something like this it we have to convert this all right to so we can do four <clears throat> four times 26 okay we can do four times 26 over 10 all right so four times 26 over 10 what would this give you? This would come out because it's a perfect square. All right. Please, for you to understand this, you need to watch the video I've done on irrational numbers, how to, you know, simplify them. 
okay so we have here a negative 8 plus or minus 2 is going to come out so 2 because you know this is likened to be square root of 4 times <clears throat> the square root of 26 since 26 is not a perfect square it will remain in the square but 4 is a perfect square so it will be the square root of 4 you simplify it as 2 and 2 times the square root of 26 will give us 2 root 26 so here we now have 2 root 26 over 10. <clears throat> Do you see this? So from here, it's, it's now easy for us to simplify. We can, we can now have this. Uh, let me come here. We have negative 8 plus 2 root 26 over 10 and negative 8 minus 2 root 26 over 10. Okay, so we have a common right we can do like a common factor all right the common factor between these two here or what i can do is make it um what do we do what do we do what do we do what do we do okay we can make it like uh just do something like this negative eight you know it's all about manipulating maths that's it maths is all about manipulating you can do this then uh, plus 2 over 26 divided by 10 also because you know everything here is divided by 10 so 2 would go here 4 times 2 would go here 5 times 2 would go here 1 times 2 would go here 5 times okay and we're left here with minus 4 plus square root 26 over 5 so you in just i i'm doing this just in case you see your answer option like this and you know the GED doesn't put the decimal doesn't put it to a single value just in case you see this that's why i'm doing this so you you won't also get stuck and be confused when you see your options like you say what you know you're, you're like what why what is this and all that it's all boils down from here from this step you don't have to break down any rational numbers okay and i've done a video that simplifies them i've also just done something like this so you have to break this big number in such a way that you bring out a perfect square which i did i brought out a perfect square which is four it's always easy to you know get your perfect squares like you can check it can nine go in this in this big number because nine is a perfect square right can nine go no nine can't go so you can't use nine so the easiest is using four four can go in this and you know we've broken this down and we arrived at this and just simplified to get this, okay? So that's why I'm bringing this to your notice because sometimes I've seen in the GED where your answer options are in this format, not in this format, okay? In some quadratic um, formula questions. I have seen that, okay? So please do um, know how to treat irrational numbers and simplify them, okay? So this is, this is, uh, so you have for the first answer, minus 4 plus in square root 26 over 5 and here okay when you simplify the same thing you also have minus 4 uh, minus square root 26 over 10 and you notice over 5 i mean because you know we have factored out okay and you would notice that when you punch all this in your calculator you will get this and when you punch all this you would get this in your calculator okay so that's how we resolve number four so let's go to number five okay so number five we have this nine x square minus 24 x equal to negative 16. so i'll take the negative 16 here so we have nine x square minus 24 x plus 16 equal to zero so from here, our uh, A is 9, our uh, B is negative 24, our uh, C is positive 16. So let's put in our, our values. Okay, so B, negative, in parentheses, negative 24, then plus or minus square root. B squared, that's negative 24 square, minus 4, in parentheses, A is 9, and C is what, 16 okay divided by 2a all right so from here we have minus times minus that's 24 plus or minus the square root negative 24 square what would this give us negative 24 square will give us 576 minus 4 times 9 times 16 will also give us 576 
divided by O2. A is uh, 18. Sorry, I didn't put 18 here. A is 18. So 2 times 18, that would give us what? 2 times 9. I apologize. 2 times 9, that would give us what? 18. Okay? That's A is 9. And remember, we have 2A. So 2 times 9 will give us 18 here. So you can see this is 576 minus 576, that's zero. Okay, so we have 24 plus or minus the square root of zero over 18. And what's the square root of zero is zero. So you can see here, we have zero as our discriminant. From here, it says if B square minus 4AC is equal to zero, we just have one real solution. So we're just going to have one real solution. So this, since this is zero, this will just cancel out. So we have just 24 over 18, you know, because it's like 24 plus or minus zero, which doesn't mean anything. Are you getting me? So we just have one solution. So 24 over 18 is our answer. We can simplify this. Six will go here four times. Six will go here three times. And we're left with four over three. Okay. <clears throat> and that is what? One or number one over three. So that's our answer. Okay. So that is an example of when you have the discriminant as zero and you have one real solution. Now, let's go on to, so that there can be a GD question that can pose, um, pose uh, you know, it says, pose a question like this and ask how many real solutions with this quadratic equation have? What you have to do is go to your quadratic formula get this b squared minus 4ac, put in the value of b, put in the value of a and c, then solve it. If it gives you zero, then it means in your answer option, you'll take one real solution. If it gives you greater than zero, then it's two real solutions. If it gives you less than zero, then no real solution. You're going to see it here. Here we have 2x squared plus 5x minus equal to minus 7. So we'll bring minus 7 here becomes a positive. Okay, 5x plus 7 equal to 0. So it means here a is 2, b is 5, c is what? 7. Okay, so from here, what do we do? We put in our values. We have x will be equal to negative 5 plus or minus in square root. B, b squared is 5 squared minus 4a is 2, c is what? 7. Divided by 2, a is what? 2. Okay, so from here we have negative 5 plus or minus. Let's resolve what is in this discriminant. We have 25 minus 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 5 is 56. Divided by 2 times this is 4. So you see from here that we have negative 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 56, that will give us a negative 31 over 4. Here we have to stop because there's no solution to this. Okay, when you have a negative, all right, when the discriminant is, is, the discriminant is what negative, then we have no real solution. So we stop here, okay, and you just tick your answer option, no real solution. Okay, so this is how, um, you know, everything about the quadratic formula as uh, you know this is what i've gone through okay about the quadratic formula and i'm very sure that at okay in your gd test any question about the quadratic formula you would surely get it using these examples okay if you want more questions you want me to solve more quadratic formula questions let me know okay you can get your gd formula sheet you know so you're conversant with all the formulas all right you can go to our website dtwgedprep.com to get the download of the formula sheet okay so thank you so much for staying to the end of this video please try to give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends family and loved ones and also don't forget to subscribe check our website for summary notes dtwgedprep.com you can join our facebook group our reddit group all the links are in the video description box of this video you can also register for our course okay our gd course on the website okay because i'm i'm about um, doing videos, to, I'm curating videos, all these videos, I'm going to curate them on the website so you can easily watch them. After that, you get practice sheets, you know, uh, to work and practice more for your GED test. 
So thank you, thank you so much. And uh, uh, you can contact me if you need one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. And also give us the life of heaven here on earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. He can make it in your life. Okay, he can make it good. He can make it sweet. He can make it lovable in your life. He can help you, you know give you victory over every challenges in your life challenges in your marriage in your home in your you know whichever challenges with your children your health he will sort you through okay in your finances jesus will sort you through he would give you peace come to him today he is waiting all right to take all away all your bodies come to jesus today for he is coming soon thank you so much i wish you success in life and also in your GED test. See you in our next video.